Okie dokie. So I'd like you to start with your heavier weight that you've got, please. So girls, if you've got a collection of a 1 and a 0.5, you're going to put your 1 and 0.5 together. Paul, you're going to go with as heavy a heavier weight as you would like to work with your bicep. I want to go back to these bicep, half bicep curls that we did last week. I really noticed a difference in my arms, actually, since doing them. So I want to continue on with the half bicep curl. So nice straight backs, zipping up through the center, inner thighs activated, hamstring butt connection points lifting slightly. Open the shoulders up, elbows right into the waist and pulsing halfway up one. Two. Actually, Anella, I might just get you to count for these so I can talk a little bit. So keep on zipping those inner thighs towards each other. So you basically, so that lower part of your body is not just sitting there relaxed on the chair. You're lifting up away from the chair. Keep the elbows open, not the elbows, the shoulders. The shoulders open. Keep the wrist strong. It's a half bicep curl, Esmeralda. Don't come too far up. So we're working that little base at the bottom. Opening up a little bit more through your shoulders, Paul. You look like you're slouching slightly. Might just be the camera of the angle, angle of the camera. Once we've done 30, we're going to hold the position and just rotate out to the side. Keep on sucking those bellies in. Keep on zipping that pelvic floor up. Hold. Okay, now we've got 1.5, so it's heavy. I know that. We're not used to working on a 1.5. Keep the elbows into the waist. Repeat for another 30 on the side. Keep zipping up through the center. Activate that pelvic floor. Keep activating those backs of your legs. They don't have to be working too much, but just that you're not just spreading out on the chair. Sounds highly gross. You know what I mean. <laughs> Lift it. Imagine that you're sitting on a nice little hot stove top or something and you're pulling away from the stove top. It actually looks so easy, this series, but it actually really burns. Burns the shoulders, burns the triceps. I don't know whether you felt that difference as we went from here to here, how all of a sudden the whole arm changes the way that it's working. The old Mandy philosophy, you've got to get in at that muscle from every single angle that you can. Keep sucking the belly back, please. Keep lifting the pelvic floors up. Once we've done the 30, we're going to hold our arms up and we're going to come back to the front. Keep those wrists strong. And come back to the front. Now we're going to bring it all the way up to the shoulder and halfway down. Keep lifting through the abs. Keep making sure that you're in neutral spine. So here's an opportunity. When you're sitting in a chair in the day, most of us slouch. It's pretty hard to sit up straight in a chair all day. But here's an opportunity to practice that sitting up straight in a chair posture. Keep those shoulders open. Keep that belly pulling back. Keep those hamstrings on. 
Kind of imagine like you're a little sausage. You've got sausage skin over your legs and it's pulling everything together. Little sausages. <laughs> Another horrible <laughs> image. Let me think of something nicer. Like you put a stocking on, okay? Not a sausage casing, a stocking. A nice tight stocking. It's holding everything together. Once we've done the 30, we hold it, we come to the side. Pump it up, one. Whew. Two. Three. Four, keep those elbows in. Five, if you keep those elbows in, you should feel something also happening at the back, around here as well. Getting into this little bit. Belly's back, pelvic floor's up. Great space to feel the pelvic floor. You're sitting on your sitting bones. Draw them together and lift them up and there you've got all three parts of that pelvic floor working. Good space also when you're sitting on a chair to pump the pelvic floor. So you're doing this, you can do this action with the pelvic floor which is really healthy for it as well just to kind of pump pump so you let it go pump it let it go pump it once we've done the 30 we're going to drop our weight back we've done the 30 we're going to drop our weight back to a one kilo please Arms up, elbows facing each other, and we do little pumps. One, two, three, four. Now challenge yourself by bringing those elbows really aligned with the shoulders. They're going to want to swing off to the side. Keep them aligned. Keep those legs together. Keep sucking the belly back. Use your abs here. Just keep on challenging yourself with those elbows. I can see most of you are starting to swing out again. Keep on pulling them together. Keep on sucking those bellies back. Once we've done our 30, we're going to stop rest. Give your shoulders a wiggle around. Give your hair a pull back. Arms up, biceps on. Pump it, find your back muscles. Your palms are facing your head. You're not facing me, facing the head. We're in a tight W position and pump it up one. Two, now each pump, pump the pelvic floor, three. But you're pulling the pelvic floor up like a little puppet. Belly's back. Now because you're all so beautifully trained, as soon as I say belly's back, you should naturally now feel your transverse abdominis come on. As you suck the skin back, you've got so much muscle there now, you've been working it so much, that the skin goes back, you suck it back, and your transverse abdominus will contract naturally for you. Keep on sucking those bellies back, keep on sucking that pelvic floor up, keep using those inner thighs and hamstrings. And rest. <coughs> We're going to take our arms up above our heads so we can stick with the one kilos, ladies, or you do whatever you want. We're going to pull it down and we're going to hold for four or five seconds here. And we're going to try and charge up the bicep, the shoulder, no, sorry, yeah, bicep, shoulder, tricep, serratus, and a little bit of back. We're only going to do 10, so we're going to pull it down 
and then charge up as much as we can our muscles. Okay, arms come up in front of you. Pull it down, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, release. Pull it down, one, two, three, four, five, release. Pull, one, two, three, four, five, release. Pull, one, two, three, four, five, release. Five more. One, two, three, four, five, release. Five more now. One, two, three, four, five, release. Bellies in, pull down one. Two, three, four, five, release. Pull it in. One, two, three, four, five, release. One, two, three, four, five, release. Last one and one, two, three, four, five, release and rest. Take hold of your 0.5 kilo weights. We're going to do our circles on our side. Or you can stay with your ones if you choose. Arms out to the side. Drop down through your back muscles. So I really want you to be able to feel here, through the back. Under the serratus and into the back. Oh, hang on a second. Just let's give that a little three second break. Three, two, one. Out we go. Lift from the backs of the legs and circling one, two, lock into the back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it, inner thighs lifting one. Two, pelvic floors, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't drop. Come out to the front. Ooh, nasty. And circle one, two, bellies in, three, inner thighs on, four, Five, hamstring butt connection points connected. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And rest. One kilo weights. It's only a weighter, so you can go with heavy. Palms in, and palms in. Elbows in, palms up. We're just going to do 20 reps. Open the shoulders up, pump the bicep a little bit, opening it up. One. Don't let the shoulders, as, the, as you come back, don't close back down with the shoulders. Keep them open. Three. Bellies in. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, we're just doing 20, three, two, and one. Coming off and staying with the chair. So you can go with one kilo, we're gonna do triceps and lats. Paul, you're gonna go with something heavier, please. So we're gonna take our hand onto our chair. Shoulders stay 
level. You're going to pull from the back, elongate out, pulse up, and bend, and press. Pull up, pulse, I mean extend, pulse up, and bend. Press, pull, extend, pulse, bend. Press, pull, extend, pulse, bend, press. Pull, extend, pulse up, bring it back down, bend, and press. We're going to do 10 of these. I think we've got about four to go. Five to go. Extend, bend. Press on the last one. We're going to hold the arm up there straight. And we're going to hold here. Extend 30 repetitions, normal extensions. And press one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, don't drop after this, three, two, one. Hold it there, circles. One, all of that. Two, three, out, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's hard. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, interesting. Just threw that one in there at the end just to see what it would feel like. Okay, changing sides. We do a little lap pull. We pull it up from the back. Extend it, lift it, drop it back, bend, press. Don't let the shoulders drop, keep the shoulders level. Pull, extend, lift, drop, back, press. Pull, extend, lift, drop, back and press. Belly's in. We're doing ten. I reckon this might be the last one. No. This one is, now we're holding it there, please, 30 normal extensions. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, 
towards the knee and holding, just giving your bottom a little bit of a squeeze under just to get into that quadricep. Got to stretch those quads every couple of days, if not every day. Hold five, four, three, two, one, change legs. Tuck under. Bring the knee closer in towards the other knee. Holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Parallel position with the legs, legs connected. We're going to do a quick 20 rises in 20 in parallel, 20 in rotation, tuck under with the pelvis, zip up through the pelvic floor, squeeze the inner thighs, find your hamstring butt connection points, lifting it up, one, two, three, four, oh, my arms are nice and warm after all of that, five, Six, belly's in. Seven, keep zipping up. Eight, squeeze your tushes. Nine. Ten, squeeze it all the way up to the inner thigh. One. So it's not just the calves. Two. Three. Four. Five, every now and then check your balance. And rotate, heels together, toes apart. Now, as soon as we wrap into this rotation position, you want to think of all of those muscles from the base of the foot spiraling, 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 and locating and stopping in the back of the leg. And we lift it up, one, two, pelvic floors in three. Four, keep squeezing the hamstring butt connection points. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten and ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And staying in the same position, holding onto your bar. We're going to do a tiny little plie. This leg is going to come out the front, and we're going to pulse plie down for five reps. Then we hold the plie, we take it to the side, we pulse for five reps. We take it to the back, we pulse for five reps, we take it to the side and we pulse for another five reps. Very, very slowly and agonizingly pulsing. 
bellies back, bellies in, pelvis is under, tiny plie. Both legs are rotated, take the leg out. And pulse, one, two, three, four, five, hold it, rotate to the side, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, keep that pelvis tucked under, take it to the back, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, take it to the side, keep the pelvis tucked under, you have to make a little adjustment here, pulse, one, two, three, four, five, and rest, change legs. Through the diaphragm. Seven. 
eight, nine, ten. Slide and glide it down. Nice relief. And squeeze it one. Keep on locking into that supporting leg two. Three, four, five, six, whoa, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Facing your chair, throw your hands on. We're going to take our leg behind us into an attitude position. But this is going to make a little bit more sense because when we go down onto the floor, we're going to do the same thing so you can work out where the two exercises connect with each other when we do it on the floor. So attitude means this. That's the action. We're going to hold the leg just underneath our highest position. So if that's as high as you can take it, you're going to take it to there. We're going to do 50 lifts without stopping. I've never done it before. I just thought it sounded like a good number this morning when I was designing the class. Let's try. And I could hear Mandy in the background, not here, saying, yeah, 50 sounds like a great number, Natalia. Slightly bend. Butt cheek comes on from the very beginning. We lift it up. One, two, three, ooh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, both legs, this leg is also bent two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, Three, okay, you feel your back as well. Four, you're working your back muscles. Five, six, seven, we're halfway through. Eight, nine, ten, twenty more, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that's kind of nice. Not so gruesome as I thought. Changing legs. Slide the plie. Take yourself to your halfway position with your attitude. And lift it up. One. Two, three, four, lift it from the glute and hamstring, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 20 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. last 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, very good. Have a small rest while I get my mat.
talking to the donkey. I've been wanting to do this for the last week. I'm going to get it done today. We come down onto our forearms. Let me show you what the uh, repertoire is. So we're not going to stop once we start. Stage one, squeeze and lift. You're trying to get your heel towards the ceiling. It's not going out on an angle. It's like you're being picked up by your heel. We're then going to extend it out to a straight leg. We're going to tap and lift. Then we're going to change legs, we'll rest. Then we're going to come back to this leg. We're going to do 10 circles, 10 circles. Then we're going to come up, drop down, this hands up, and we're going to lift it to the side. But we'll break it into groups. If you want, you can come onto your hands. If you want, you can come onto your elbows, whatever is more comfortable for your, for your body. Okay, here we go. If you're on your elbows or your hands, please push away from the floor. Sound like a flight attendant. Please push away from the floor. Please don't sink down into the ground. Lift the foot up. Pushing away and elongated squeeze at one. Squeeze two. Keep pushing from the floor with the hands or the elbows. Three. Squeeze it. Four. Use your bellies. Five. Strong flex with the foot. Six. That heel is going directly towards the ceiling. It is not going out on an angle. Seven. Straight towards the ceiling. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stretch it. Take it down. Lift it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, keep pushing away from the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs. The heel comes straight towards the ceiling, lifting it up. One, two. Squeeze it three. So you're coming back down to a right angle with the leg. Four. Five. You're going to feel like someone's picked your heel up and they're pulling it directly to the ceiling. Six. Seven. Keep pushing away from the floor. Eight. Nine. Ten. Use your abs. Drop it down to the floor. Lift it up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give your arms and shoulders a rest for a second. Give them a bit of a wiggle around. back down, elongate it out, and circling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Reverse it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we change position. We go onto the elbow. This one comes up onto our hands and lifting it up. One. Same leg. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs. Elongate the other leg out. Circling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come onto the elbow, come up onto the other hand, bend the leg in, and we do the fire hydrant lifting it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Grab your arm weights. Point five, I think, ladies. Paul, you could go with a one, and Ella, you could go with a one. How long have I got of class? Did anyone tell me what? Twenty minutes. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do our prep hundred series. We are going to do oh, ten with the arms, very easy for you guys. Ten extensions on each side, very easy. Then we're going to do ten double legs. But as we do our double legs, we're going to beat the legs together once. Then we're going to return back. Then we're going to beat the legs together twice. And we're going to return back. We're going to go all the way through to 10. Then on the next group of 10, we're going to lift our head and shoulders and we're going to beat 10. And then we're going to beat 9. And we're going to grade ourselves back down. So the first double legs with 10, we're going to keep our head and shoulders down. We're going to go 1 to 10. The second group of double legs with 10, we're going to lift the head and shoulders, head, shoulders up. We're going to go 10 back down to 1. Okay? <clears throat> okay? Okay. Arms up. Lower backs flat down on the mat, please. Once we contract, we do not release. We keep those belly, mu belly muscles suctioning down and hollowing. You're trying to get that belly underneath the rib cage and pull it down. One. Two. Three, nice and easy to start. Four, keep sucking the belly down. Keep pulling the pelvic floor up. Five, pull from the back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extensions on each leg alternating. One, ten on each side. Two, Bellies down. Three. Do not let your back arch. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Double legs, one beat and back. Two beats, three beats. Be careful not to click your ankles, that really hurts. Four beats. One, two, three, four. Nice straight legs, please. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep those shoulders open. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last rep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Head and shoulders lift. Ten beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine beats. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep those shoulders open, those collarbones. One, two, three, four, five. We're nearly there. One, two, three, four, three, three, two, one, <clears throat> two, one, two, last one, and one, and rest, weights down. Drop the legs down. I want to come back to these pleadings. I love them. So you want to feel like someone is picking your knees up with like a little puppet string. But as they pick your knees up, the knees go to the left. And as the knees go to the left, the right, the left hand side of the body also picks up and comes to the left. So my right arm is right over my left leg. My shoulder and my arm are off. So you've got to get that underneath shoulder off, Elizabeth. And the arm. Yep. Horrible. And then you come back. All right, we're going to do four on each side, nice and slow. We're going to alternate sides. The idea is that you've got this feeling like someone's going like this to you. And then dropping you back down. All right, it's not a big bend with the knees either, it's a small bend. Let's all start by going to the left and pick it up. Hold one, two, that's it Elizabeth, perfect. Three, four, drop it back. To the right and pick it up. Knees go to the right, body goes to the right. You'll feel those abs come on when you find that correct position. And drop it back. Oh. Plead, 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 elongate out with the arms and drop oh. and lift. And drop two more with each side and lift. And drop and lift. And drop, last one with each side, and lift. And drop, and lift. And drop, coming onto your side. Oh, that one makes me feel a bit sick later in the day every time I do it. It really gets my, <laughs> really gets into my abs. But maybe three hours later, I'm like, what's wrong with my stomach? And then I realized we've done that exercise. Okay, how's everyone going? Everyone's looking a little bit knackered. As my brother's like this. What next? Yes, come up onto your legs, please. Come down onto your hands. Come on, I've got all my strong crew in this morning. All right, so we lift the leg up. This arm comes up, we take it almost to the floor, 
Lifting it up, one, four, two. Sort of getting easier, this exercise, three, four, five, six. That's true, I've got all my super strong crew on. Seven, eight, don't drop. Nine, hold it there, 10. Circle, one, two, oh my gosh, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, ten. If you can keep going in reverse, go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness me. Change sides. Arm up, lift, bring it up. One, two, three. Changing legs. Drop it over. Coming back upright, taking one arm across your chest, giving your uh, triceps a little bit of a stretch. Sides. Taking this arm up and over. And changing sides. And we're all finished for today. 